Hello friends, this is Aditya and you are watching Electric Vehicles. Friends, currently we are at a Electric Vehicles Expo. So we are currently near P2 Power stall which is in Electric Vehicles Expo. So the P2 Power is all about the Electric Vehicles charging stations. So here we have a head of this uh, stall that is P2 Power. So he will explain all about this Electric Vehicles charging stations. So hello sir, how are you? I am good, how are you? So I am fine sir. So please explain about this charging stations like uh, how many types of charging stations we have and uh, for whom it will be suitable and what is the price range starting and from ending? Sure. So myself, Vibor, uh, I head the sales at P2 Power. We, dev we manufacture all kinds of uh, charging stations for EV. Okay. Starting from slow charger range, we have AC chargers for two-wheelers, three-wheelers, four-wheelers. Okay. Typically, they come in power range from 3.3 kilowatt to 22 kilowatt. Yeah, yeah. I will explain what that means. Okay, and we have fast chargers in DC okay. uh, chargers uh, for pub public charging stations. Okay. Typically, the range is from 20 kilowatt to 120 kilowatt. Okay. With various types of gun options. So, when we say gun, what kind of charging sockets are there? Yeah. So, for example, if you see this is a AC charger 14 kilowatt this, yeah, is, I mean, one this of our, is a slow charger this is a slow charger okay so what we do is basically this is one of our fast selling model okay. it's very suitable for housing societies uh, offices yeah, apartments, etc., apartments. Like why apartments. because it has all three kinds of charging uh, points okay. so this one uh, charging point is typically used for cars like Nexon yeah, MG yeah. okay this is a slow charger for those cars we have a two two-wheeler charging point which okay, can be we used. have directly a plug point here yes it's a directly a plug point okay so in two wheelers typically all two wheelers now only support slow charging only a couple of two wheelers are trying yeah, to yeah. build battery with fast charging so yeah. that's a slow charger and okay. this is an industrial connector which typically works with three wheelers or some commercial okay. uh, vehicles etc okay we have other facilities in this we have rfid uh, tag uh, you can use rfid tag for payments or other kinds of tokens okay, we okay. have a screen which displays how much charging has been done what is the battery capacity? Okay, what so this can be uh, this can be also usable for a commercial purpose also. Yes, yes, definitely. So this is okay. this is the model which is fully loaded. It has a SIM connectivity, Wi-Fi connectivity. It can be connected through app. Let's say if you want to use for personal purposes, we have other options as well. Okay. So I like to show you. These are various types of other AC chargers. Okay. So this is primarily for personal use. Uh, a small charger with single socket okay uh, you can use it for any uh, of your personal compact use uh, but uh, the company will give us a portable charger how it can be usable so uh, yes so company has given portable charger but yeah. let's say if you are in a housing society you want to establish a power plant okay. metering around it okay charging uh, app integration okay. so that won't be available in the normal charges yeah, so yeah, yeah. all the resident societies houses they want to track how who is using how much of electricity okay. uh, you can connect your vehicle through app so all kinds of facilities okay. are there in this okay. so this is typically if you have your own charger in housing societies you will find uh, you won't find a uh, charging point easily right okay. so for that that we have built it so we are a fully uh, certified company all those security uh, provisions are there we okay. have taken all the necessary certifications water protected okay. is there we have other stations of slow charging these are compact ones uh, there we provide multiple socket options you okay. can have all three sockets for car you can have one for so car it or one can for be customizable right? it can be customizable if you okay. have a bulk order okay or if you are using only for personal purpose you don't need uh, RFID, you don't need payment provision, etc. You can cut down the cost and take okay. the simple ones. Okay, so based on the customer preference, you are going to customize these options. Yes. So, in what price range uh, can we expect this? So, all the slow charger, AC charger, what we are talking about, they come between 30,000 to 75,000 rupees, okay. depending on how many sockets, okay. what is the power types, okay. and whether you have these screens, payment facilities, SIM integration, etc. Okay. Now, we have other facilities uh, we have other products which are in fast chargers okay typically used for dc charger so yeah, they, yeah. they are dc so typically they range from 20 kilowatt to 120 kilowatt uh, power output okay uh, so there this is one of our best selling product okay okay what it uh, so it is a 30 kilowatt uh, wall mounted charger okay. so it can charge uh, nexon or mg at, at 30 kilowatt per hour speed so okay. Typically, within one, one and a half hours, you can fast charge the car. Okay, so, so, this, this uh, usually suits to a commercial purposes. Yes, yeah, so all kind of, uh, if you see, government is trying to install chargers yeah, yeah. at uh, highways. They have a plan to have all the key cities, nine yeah. cities they have announced where uh, smart city infrastructure should be there. Yeah. So, they are uh, releasing various standards where this is installed. Okay. People who have highways, locations, they are coming to us that they want to leverage those locations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, government, all the petrol pump 
station uh, uh, executives because government is also asking them to yeah. set up stations. They yeah. come to us okay. with inquiries. We are already supplying with okay. various kind of okay. uh, charge point operators. We in this we also provide dual guns option. Okay. So let's say if you want to, this is 30 kilowatt. We can provide 60 kilowatt with two guns. Two so guns. two cars you can charge okay. at the same time with 30 30 speed or one car. Let's say if you have higher battery car like Audi, you can charge one car at 60 kilowatt speed. Okay, okay. We have other options for buses, etc., which are at, with multiple gun options. So okay. everything is customizable. Okay. We design, uh, manufacture everything in our facility in Noida. So completely make in India company. So you have a head office in Noida, right? Yes. So what is the price range depends on this? So for DC chargers, the price uh, starts from, for example, this one is like uh, starts from range from 3 lakhs to 18 lakhs okay. depending on the configuration power okay. type of connector okay. uh, these uh, uh, these kind and okay. typically we operate we install these completely okay. and we also provide warranty annual maintenance services okay. for all kinds of uh, uh, chargers okay so if i am planning to set up a charging station yes. near uh, any place so what are all the qualifications do i need to have so as such government has made it very easy to set up charging stations you don't need any kind of license etc okay. the only thing that you require is a small space where this machine can fit okay. if you have your own space you can set it up okay. then what else you require is the power connection okay. so if you have a line which is single phase or three phase small connection you have to upgrade it depending on what kind of power yeah, charger yeah. you are so for highways etc like if people are installing 60 kilowatt we recommend 70 70 kilowatt yeah. load line for small AC chargers, typically in housing societies, it is very easily manageable. Yeah. And if you are at home single, uh, then we also have single phase AC charger, 3.3 okay. kilowatt load, okay. typically that, that is doable. So very easy yeah. to install, government wants to install more and more chargers, yeah, yeah. we are here to support. And, uh, okay. So, but uh, what kind of uh, support the government is providing for you and for consumer? So, most of the support is provided for end consumer. Okay. So, lot of government tenders are there where they are incentivizing people to install charging stations okay. at premium locations which okay. they have selected, where they are providing you land. In some cases, they are providing you electricity at cheaper rates, subsidized okay. rates, okay. so that you can provide uh, the charging and consumer at cheaper rates. Okay. So various kinds of models, different government, state governments are following okay. uh, in, in various cases. Okay. So the main objective is to have more and more charging stations so that people shift more and more to electric okay. vehicles. Okay. So can we run these charging stations with the support of solar power? Yes, so that is the ultimate goal that the, when we are using it, we are use, truly using end-to-end -end green energy. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so go, that is also possible. Many people are doing it, and okay. that's the ultimate goal. So, as of now, one at step at a time, people are using in the power stations yeah. to, because the upfront investment increases. Yeah. So, as as more financing option comes, we will see more solar with the yeah. uh, solar charger uh, combinations as yeah. well. So are you providing solar panels or you are only dealing with these uh, power stations only? So currently the demand is coming for this. Okay. We have our other businesses using power, uh, quality, solar. Okay. Okay. So we have that capability to provide. Okay. But there are various people who come only as of now for charger. Okay. But if you need for solar, we that capability also we have. Okay. That's our background. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. We had a very good chat with you. Yeah, very good. So this is friends. So this is all the information related to uh, charging power stations. So for more such updates, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe our Electric Vehicles YouTube channel. So until then, go green, go electric.